youtube.com slash Tim Westwood TV. Yo, Tim Westwood TV, big boy in the building. What yeah. a family. What's up, buddy? Yo, you looking crazy, man. I, I, the so, bees, man, the bees are ringing. Oh, man, yeah. And the pinky. Yeah. Oh, my days. Oh. Uh, oh, and the coordination with the purple on the bracelet. Oh, my days. My birth, birthstone, Amethyst. It, it, amethyst, so pur the purple joint is you. Yeah, that's that's Amethyst, Aquarius. Wow, that looks crazy, man. Thank you, man. That looks crazy. And the bees are ringing. Yeah. Coordinated with the, with the other ring. Oh, wedding my ring. Oh, the wedding <laughs> ring. Oh, yeah. my days. Yeah, do it. So when did you put the wedding ring on? Uh, Maybe um, 15 years ago. Maybe. 15 new joints. Yeah, yeah. And in London, you're not tempted just to take it off and put it in your top pocket? No, 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 Does no. it ever come off in the club? Yeah, I see. I don't... Oh, when, 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 no, what I'm saying when I'm shaking hands and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like exactly. I've, I've been in the club throwing money and threw a whole bracelet off. And yeah, you can't be doing that, man. Yeah, yeah. And you're in the club throwing up money, you just throw the wedding ring with it. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I my try, days. Gotta tuck it. 15 joints deep, man. Congratulations. Yeah, 22, actually. We've been married for like 15. Whoa, kids? Yeah. How many? Three. Wow, what ages? Uh, 16, 17, and 22. Wow, you started early, family. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, mean, I didn't want to be like, I wanted to be able to keep up with my kids. I want to be like a young dad, you know. <sighs> I fire blank, so I'm still waiting. <laughs> oh, when I have kids, man, I'll just be like, yo, <laughs> help me up the step. <laughs> yeah, I was, oh yeah, I was trying so, to... So, what, kids strong. at college and all that? Uh, yeah, my daughter goes to Auburn. Uh, my both my boys in high school. Okay. Um... Football players. Whoa. Um, high GPAs. Congratulations, so, man. You must be very proud. Yeah. And keeping them out of the music business? Um, if they choose. Sort of, I mean, if yeah. they choose to do it. Like, they, they do production and, yeah. you know, they've been on albums and skits and videos yes. and stuff. Yeah. Crazy, yeah, man. man. What a journey, man. Yeah. Now, new singles. Congratulations. Thank you. Kill Jill. Yes. Feeling that one heavy. Yep. And obviously, Mike Jack is ringing off. Yes. Obviously. Yeah. It's good, man. Good to have you back. It's good to be back, man. Now, what's the story of Kill Jill? Um, Kill Jill is a record that Killer Mike actually brought me. Oh, he track. brought that to you, yeah? He brought me a track. Mm. Um, one night, I guess he found it on SoundCloud. Some guys, it was, it didn't sound like it sounded now. Yeah, obviously. And he was like, I got this song that's perfect for you, but I got to be on it with you. And um, <laughs> the deal. he brought it, he played it, and me and um, my guy Ray from Organized Noise, mm. It was like okay, we did it. We did this record like three years ago. Whoa! Yeah, I got a vault full of music. So uh, Ray came in and put all the sprinkles on it. Um, uh, had Jeezy in mind. Uh, it was like we wanted to make it an Atlanta thing. And obviously, called Jeezy. He came mm -hmm. in the studio. And he was like, "Man, this is, I like. It's gonna be massive." And I, we just shot the video yet yesterday. Okay, and what's the story of the vid? The video is. It's crazy, man. It's it's like um, uh, King Arthur meets uh, Kung Fu Hustle, almost. Oh. You know what I mean? So the classic joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's real. it's real gladiator music. You know. What yeah. I mean? So the vis visual is very cinematic. Worked with Brian Barber, who did, of course, Hey Ya, the way you move, yes, skewed on a Barbie classics. roses, all yes. the good videos. So the chemistry is there, and and we shot a movie. Whoa. Yeah. Feels good, man. I feel great. Yeah, it feels great. And it's mm. great to have you back. Uh, and Mike Jack is another joint ringing right now. Yeah. So you're in a good place. Yes, 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 man. It was, it was, it was that was another great record. Um, I approached this album a little differently. I, I went and worked with some, me and Ray went to L.A. and recorded, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of t uh, weeks um, out of different sessions and hooked up with different producers like right. uh, DJ Dahi uh, did the uh, Mike Jack record. Right. And went to L.A. and was out there recording. And we just sat in with some guys. Got in with Scott Storch. Okay. You know, um, Corey Moe, who, of course, has produced a lot of the UGK stuff. Yes. Um, so we kind of mixed it up a little bit. But yeah. Everything had an organized noise touch to it. Yeah. Why Why change it up like that? Um, it was just, you know, we've been camped down in Stankonia for forever. Forever. You know what I mean? And we, which one. is our hub, you know yeah. what I mean? So it was just a change of scenery. It was more than anything. It was like... Um, the, the the weather and the bud in California was very attractive. Intense. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, going out there, sunny days, and uh, the studio was a nice spot. We found another spot that we liked. Uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis' old studio. Oh, wow, called, yeah. Called uh, Windmark. Yeah. And I found a room that I felt comfortable in, and we made magic. Wow. Yeah. And 
what was your favorite bud down there? Favorite the bud? Uh, mm. I'm a granddaddy purple. You know what I mean? You are granddaddy. That's, that's it's purple. Everything purple. Everything. Seriously, purple you know everything. Mean? You know, it's, it's 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 straight legal out in LA. Yeah, now. obviously medicinal. So, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's I think they got recreational now. Recreation as and well in as California, medicinal. Yeah. Oh wow. So now you can do what you want to do. So you know, and then do what you have to do, man. Freely. And then are you one of these guys who smoke before breakfast? Um, sometimes. Okay. Sometimes, you know what I mean. But I don't. I don't do a, a lot of smoking before breakfast. Okay. Kinda, you know, okay. I'm, when do you start hitting that bud heavy in the uh, studio? When, when I'm writing, you know what I'm okay. saying. When I'm writing, but I, I'm I'm more of a sativa guy. I don't the yes. indica. Like I don't I don't want the down the do down. You, you want the creative? Yeah, man. Yeah. I got not the heavy stoner. No, I got a lot of things. I got to go to kids' football practices. I got to go to dance recitals. I go to basketball games. <laughs> I got a lot to ragged. do. You know what I, mean? I can't be and, the stoner dad. Exactly. You, know I mean? you can't be a stoner dad sitting on the couch in the basement. Yeah. But you can be the dad going to football practice with a smile, feeling happy. With shades on. Yes, yeah, shades on because life is blessed. Absolutely. And they uh, recently in the papers last week they said smoking weed as you grow older is good for the memory. Ain't that 180 from what we used to be told? I'm trying to tell you, man. You just got to do your research. Got to do your research. Got to do your research, man. On yourself. On yourself. <laughs> right. See how it affects you. But now, Boomiverse. Yes. What is the nature of Boomiverse then? The title, Boomiverse. Boomiverse is basically um, our whole take on the big bang theory. It's like the big boom theory. Okay. Where we started all over. You know what I mean? This is like the beginning of a new era of music. And so Boomiverse is the place where all new sounds and uh experimentation with, with music is 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 chartered and found. You know what I mean? Okay. So we're just we're going into another frontier here. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean so um just like with every project uh, every song sounds totally different, but all cohesively run together yes. to make that one cinematic moment. It's going to give you like 50 minutes of straight enjoyment. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's, it's, I can say this is like my best work to date. Sounds like a project you should be real proud of. I, mean, right? I am, man. Yeah. You know, um, and from one thing you can tell from, from this project too, like all of them, like I'm, I'm having fun. Mm. I'm still excited by the music. I'm still... Um, I get giddy when we make new songs mm. and um, when the bass line gives me chills and make the, the hair stand over mm. my forearms mm. and the back of my neck. Mm. I live for those feelings, you know what I mean? And so that's where this record came from. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful, powerful music, man. Yeah, man. About to do it yet again. Now, Outcast, one of the greatest groups of all time, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you talk to real hip-hop heads, they often quote Outcast as their favorite group of all time. Yeah favorite what is the legacy of outcast do you feel what what was the yeah what is the legacy of you um it's it's everlasting yeah you know um everybody knows what we do you know, yeah what we've done and I'm just carrying the torch right yeah now, you know what i mean that this music is timeless music you yeah. know what i mean yeah. Sure. What do you think was the real magic of Outkast? What what like because you captured that moment in hip hop for so many years um same thing I'm doing now, ex yeah. ex experimenting. Yeah. It's just like I had a partner, you know what I mean? Yes. I still got a partner. Oh, obviously, but, yeah. Um, it's just experiment, man, and, and, and getting through um, uh, different eras and times of music. Like, music is it's just time capsules, you know what I mean? Like, um, and you just capture the essence of your life from the last time they yeah. heard you. Yeah, yeah. Amazing times, man. Amazing times. Like... Like those early outcast joints to what you're doing now, it's no. just like, yo, it's a soundtrack of somebody's life, man. Got to evolve, man. It's yeah. all about evolution. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is like now I'm going ten albums deep into it. You know what I mean? So this is like my fourth album outside Outcast. Yeah. So Sir Lucius Left Foot, and then I did the Vicious Lies and Dangerous Rumors, and then I did uh, Big Grams with Phanagram, which was like my cocoon project. It was very, very, very personal, and then from that came Boomiverse now to where you just have to keep turning into something else. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. You gotta be excited. Yeah, man. Yeah. What's your take on like the new generation of, of uh, artists coming to Atlanta? It's cool, man. Everybody yeah. everybody cool, man. Like it's a lot of brotherhood in Atlanta. Yes. Um and you know like my thing with the newer artists is like I'm I, I like their songs, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I might not have their whole albums, but um like I, want, I want to see yeah. where they're at in three years, five years. 
I want to see them evolve. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like to sit back and, and watch artists turn into something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, with open arms. Yeah, all day long. 100, man. man. Yeah, for sure. And really, like, from artists with hits to artists with albums, man. Yeah. Yep. 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 Who can make that complete thought? Yeah. And it, it feels like Atlanta's always put it on from day, man. Yeah. From day. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's a certain camaraderie, you know, mm -hmm. in Atlanta, because you always, you know, you bump into different people and whether it be the strip club or at the mall mm. or wherever you at, you know. Um, um, and it's easy to connect with folks because all the studios are around in the same area. Mm. And, you know, I own the studio myself, Stankonia Studios, and a lot of those artists, up-and-coming artists and artists that are already out yeah. record in my studio yeah. from a 2 Chains to a T.I. to yeah. a Pee Wee the Long Way. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. mean, it's... it's it's, it's real brotherhood. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, 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 and that Southern love, baby. You know what I mean? Southern hospitality, that, 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 that man. hospitality, yeah. crazy. Gotta be, man. That's why Atlanta's, the music has been pumping out of there so strong for yeah. so long because, yeah. you know, it's all love. Yeah. yeah. Uh, still got dogs? Yep, still got dogs. How many dogs? About 40 something, maybe. 40 dogs, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Frenchies is the thing right now. You know what I mean? Frenchies, English bulldogs, and bullies. I still got the, um, I got the Ritz Carlton of dog kennels. You know what I mean? Got like 40 something acres out by South Fulton, South Atlanta. Um, indoor, outdoor facility, air conditioner. And everything except for a fireplace. Run oh. by my little brother James, of course. And, you know, um, we've been, it's, it's doing good. Yeah, and business is good? Booming. Can't keep a puppy. Can't keep one. Can't keep. How one. much is a puppy now? Um, I don't know, man. I, th I think they might start out around three, maybe. Whoa! And they can go up to about ten, fifteen bands. You know what I mean? Yeah, Depends. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we got exotic. So my brother's into the whole. Um, uh, the gene pool, so yes. he knows who cares the chocolate gene or a lilac, and he knows how to get different colors, and and he working that shit, working. It. That dog business is overlooked, family. It's been 20 years, man, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ain't no joke being no, a, like... No, it's, it's real deal, man. You know, yeah, lady, maybe, you want to get one, maybe, we, maybe, ship, we ship sure. worldwide, you know what I mean? Big dog pit bull, baby. We ship worldwide. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, what's your furthest you've shipped to, then, like Japan? Uh, or? I think Hungary, maybe. No. Yeah. We've imported dogs from Hungary as well, too, yeah. Yeah. Well-trained, well-mannered? Yeah, yeah. The best. You ever been bitten by one? Never. Serious? Not never. Are, are dogs good around you? Yeah, yeah. Never, never had an incident. Never, never. They respect your gangster. <laughs> they respect your gangster. They respect my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Understand who the daddy is. Yo, man, the history from 94 to now, man. Yeah. Crazy, man. Been an incredible journey. Yes. It's been, you know, what, we two years away from uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame eligibility. Whoa, and really? Still going two years a, away? Yeah, 25 years from the date of your first release. And we just had, maybe a couple of weeks ago, me and Dre were together on um, the 23rd anniversary of uh, Southern Playlist. Really? Yeah. How did you celebrate that? We went out to Nas's restaurant um, with Killer Mike and LP, mm. Run the Jewels, and... We ate chicken and waffles and, and, and drank tequila it. and 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 cognac and just talked the night away. Like it was amazing. It must be. And what yeah. were the reminisce stories? Ah oh, man, we just just really we were talking about this album. You know what oh, I mean? He was just like, new man. Energy. Yeah, he was just like, man, you killing it. You know, um, proud and just really excited about the project. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was, it's all brotherhood, man, you know? Yeah, all brotherhood. It's real good to see you again, my brother. Yeah. Get, get to see you in, a, in an amazing place, man. Looking yes, forward to you taking over the world again. Hey, man, it's coming real soon. It's coming. The Mike Jack video is done. The Kill Jill video is in the can. So um, now, you know, Sony and Epic got me over here. Exactly. I'm, I'm campaigning, baby. Exactly. I'm shaking hands, kissing babies. We're going to go see Big Ben. You know, but we had to come see Westwood that. first. Yes, exactly. We had exactly. to come see you the first stop. I fresh off the airplane. I just brushed my teeth and put some baby lotion on my hands so my rings are shining. I, I appreciate you doing both those things before you link me. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know, I actually, you know... 
some lotion on my heels because I was a little, a little camel crusty earlier today. They had to get your ankles together. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was out. <laughs> grey on grey, baby. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, family. Thank you, brother. Yeah, man. Appreciate, great to appreciate see you, man. Thanks for coming through, man. I'll be back when Arm comes out. Oh, yeah, man. 100. Yes, sir. For sure. Yeah, 100, man. Yo, thanks for watching Tim Westwood TV. Now, here's a couple of suggestions of videos I know that you'll love. And thanks for all the comments. We pay attention. And don't forget to subscribe. That's right, baby. Tim Westwood TV. Over half a million subscribers. Understand how it's going down.